Yeah. Good. I want your story, and we haven't got much time. I've got a name and number, and that's all. No, I'm sorry, Sergeant. You wasted your time, mate. Look, the SBO got you out of that hellhole down the road, and we'll get you out of here if you give us the chance. Where's the Major? He's just along the corridor. Can I get to see him? Not, I hope. We're risking our necks as it is. We can't talk, can we, Godbolt? Look, the regulations say name, rank, and number. And that's all. It's all very well, old boy, but... First you steal my shoe, and then you tell me you're an officer in the Royal Air Force. I mean, you don't look like one. You're dressed up like some sort of froggy, and your fingernails are filthy. Yes, sir, well, the senior British officer usually does the debriefings himself. But in your case, the, the matter is urgent. You've only been transferred to this castle for a short while. If we're to be in a position to help you, we have to know who you are. Once we have determined who you are, we can report your presence here to the Swiss authorities. We can also send any message to London that you might want. How can you do that? I'm sorry, sir. I can't tell you that. Well, I'm sorry, but if the senior British officer wants to see me, he can come here in person. Oh, damn it. Well, if it was only to be expected, they're bound to be cagey. Well, the Major's one of those bung-ho types the war seems to have brought out of mothballs. He overdoes it a bit. You think he's a fake? No, sir. He's a phony, all right, but I don't think Trumpington's a fake. Well, we're going to have to have another go at him, aren't we? Yes, sir. You, you don't mean Jumbo Trumpington. All we know is his name's Trumpington. Well, I knew a fellow called Trumpington once. Where? Pembright. Lasted about six weeks before the guards threw him out. Well, this chap's a major. He's in a Highland regiment. And he's attached to the commandos. Well, that doesn't sound too much like Jumbo. He was so awful he couldn't be attached to anyone. Well, that's him. All right, Tim. If you think you know him, you'd better have a go at him. And try and impress on him, we're just doing all we can to help, okay? When's the next opportunity? Tonight. Have you got it? Well, which one is it? Oh, Lord, this is going to take all night. No, you won't. Come on. You'll be all right, mate. Jumper? Who's that? Me. Downey. Tim Downey. Downey? Hello, old man. Come to have a little chat. You're there? Uh, no, I've got Dick Player with me, Navy. Oh. Yeah. Won't you a told? Now that is very considerate of you. Cheers. Mate, this is over. Yeah? Nice very enterprising. Will they nab you? Belgian border. How about you? Somewhere near Boulogne. Uh, they landed us in the wrong place. We didn't get to where we were going to, and we lost half the men. It was a total disaster. No, never mind, old man. I'm sure it wasn't your problem. Yes, it was. Yes, I had this boring job at the warehouse, and I met old Dickie French. Oh, Dickie Lord. French said, <laughs> Would you like to go to Boulogne? Yes, I said. I had visions of coming home with a huge camembert. Instead, I got involved in the most horrible shambles that's ever been my luck to encounter. I was reduced to running around in the dark, blowing my whistle, being shot at by tanks, Jim. <laughs> uh, uh, look, anyway, Jumbo, we're all here to help. How? Have you ever been documented, fingerprinted, or photographed? No. Have you given any information other than your name or rank? No. Well, we have orders to try and get you out of here as soon as possible. I suppose you leave that to us. Well, the fact is, I'll buy a few ideas of my own. Oh, listen. 
We need to buy time. Ask to write a letter. Write to someone at home. If possible, someone important. The Jerrys are far more cautious if they find they're dealing with VIPs. Oh, come on, Jumbo. You must know bags of people in the government. Of course I do, old boy. Well, drop me a line. Just a few lines to say that I got bagged at Boulogne. So I'm not able to bring back the claret I promised you. We have been taken to Colditz Castle. This is an early example of railway Gothic much in need of modernization. The commanding officer of the prison is a colonel it's named... Enough. It says, Dear Winston. Are you suggesting that he is a personal friend of the British Prime Minister. To the breast 10 Downing Street. Are you further suggesting that this raid on the French coast was inspired by nothing more than Herr Churchill's desire for a case of claret? Return the letter. On what grounds, Herr Major? On the grounds that he is not permitted to describe German military installations or German personnel. Jawohl, Herr Major. Woman. Order of the day. All night passes are cancelled until further notice. Yes, sir. To prepare, it's more than likely they'll be recaptured and handed right back to the SD. Well, you don't want that to happen. They just shoot them out of hand. Well, one thing that might work, sir, would be to fake their escape. Well, I mean, we know we can get them out of the Prominenti block. We could then hide them in one of our, our ghost holes. There's nobody under the pulpit in the chapel. Well, that would give us enough time to prepare them so that if we could get them out, they'd have a good chance of getting back to England. The only trouble with a fake escape, Simon, is that any hint of it being a dummy and the SD will be crawling all over this place. Remember, they consider those commandos their personal property. They come back in here and take this castle apart stone by stone make it look convincing by staging a real escape the same night. No, well, it's too risky. Anyone who was captured would give the game away immediately. You know, Simon, there is a way around this, but I don't think the committee will like it very much. You remember the way you went out of the castle with Pat and Phil? Hmm. I want you to do it again, using exactly the same route. Which oh, one is that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You won't hear. Get them out. Oh, show him. Now, look here. British quarters, right? Into the kitchens here, through into the German courtyard, into the pit, through the ventilation shaft here, up onto the moat, here, down the moat to the exercise park and over right, to the however, perimeter wire. Right, this time, wire. when you get to the exercise park, you make a hole in the wire, the perimeter wire, and you come back into the exercise park. You wait out the night there, and we bring you back the next day with the exercise party. So, in fact, you're, you're asking me to give away our best route for nothing more than a dummy run. It's a waste, Simon! If we're going to hide those three commandos successfully in this castle, Enough evidence has to be left behind to convince the Germans that they've escaped. By giving away this particular route. Well, there must be an alternative. Well, give me one. I mean, one that's guaranteed to work. But we've proved this route works. Exactly. Why well, you can cut me right out. Easy. I'll do it. But I'm not going through all that not for nothing. Once I reach the wire, I go all the way. All right, Tim. No, I agree. It's absurd to pass out that chance. George? Why don't you do it? If you take this job, I will. Simon, I still don't understand why he has to come back in again. Once he's cut a hole in the wire, why not keep going? All right, consider the odds. From here to the kitchen, they're in our favor. From the kitchen to the German courtyard, there's a 50-50 chance of being caught. From the German courtyard 